What's up guys, it's SRC bringing you another episode of Throwback Thursday, and I apologize that this is coming a day late, I've just had a ton of technical problems, I'm not exactly sure why my audio files keep getting corrupted, uh, but it just uh, either doesn't save the audio or doesn't uh, save it entirely, and it's been really frustrating because I've recorded this commentary a few times now, and uh, I'm just trying to get this posted for you guys, so sorry for the delay. Uh, but this week we are coming back and playing uh, Black Ops as part of Throwback Thursday. As you know, we've played COD 4, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, and now we are on to Black Ops, which in my opinion is actually the best Call of Duty that's ever been released. I know I had a debate on this. Actually, I think it was one of my first videos I ever made uh, was talking about this. But now that we've played Modern Warfare 3 for quite a while... I think that Modern Warfare 3 could have been by far the best Call of Duty game out there. I think there's so many really good things about it, but unfortunately there's some major issues with it as well. And if you don't uh, want to take my word for it, just go and look at the other commentators that are out there because in the last week or two, almost all the big names out there have posted Black Ops gameplays. And it's certainly not because Modern Warfare 3 is so amazing. Uh, that they just want to save it and not uh, not waste it. They're, you know, a little bit frustrated with it, and rightfully so. You know, there's definitely some issues with the lag compensation. And just the the inconsistency of the game is is kind of the way I would word it, uh, because it seems like sometimes you kill people in two shots, and sometimes you can unload a half a clip at somebody. Sometimes you're dead before you even have a fighting chance in a gunfight. And so Modern Warfare 3 definitely has a a huge sense of frustration when you play it. For long periods of time you know the spawn systems are a little uh, outrageous at times as well and uh, some of the revenge spawns that you get are a little ridiculous so it doesn't surprise me to see uh, people wanting to go back and play black ops because it's such a, a smooth playing game it's a lot more consistent and it is a lot of fun to play and if so if you look at a lot of the big commentators uh, xcal has gone back and done live commentaries on black ops Mark of J is posted. Uh, Black Ops, he was doing it every Friday for a while. White Boy 7th Street just posted. Fearcrads just posted today a Black Ops gameplay. And so I almost feel like I'm trying to uh, copy them. But I've been doing the Throwback Thursday thing here for uh, several weeks, and it just so happened that this week uh, was the Black Ops gameplay. Uh, but, you know, it has been a ton of fun. The one thing I will say is I'm really out of practice. And you can see I'm kind of camping in the middle here. Uh, don't really know where to go because you know i'm just uh, not really used to the spawns in this game it's been a while since i've played it probably about six months and in modern warfare 3 the spawns are so erratic that it's hard to judge where people are going to be and so you start to kind of memorize where people are going to go and in here you know the one thing i forgot is how the spawns are pretty consistent and they stay pretty close to the home flags and so i really should have had a better understanding of where people were going to be and unfortunately, I just didn't in this game. Um, just out of practice, really, is all I can say. Because, you know, back in its heyday, I really had a good idea of where spawns were going to be and where people were going to be coming from. And uh, it really lets you play at a faster pace when you have that understanding of the game. Uh, whereas if you don't, you're always being cautious, not sure where people are going to go. And so you'll kind of see that a little bit in this game. The other big thing that's a major difference for me between... Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops is the sound in the game. You know, Black Ops is a lot louder. I had to turn the volume down uh, when I loaded it, but the sound is definitely not as good as Modern Warfare 3. And Infinity Ward has always been a little bit superior when it comes to sound quality. Uh, you know, the first thing that you notice is that the guns in this game sound really chintzy, kind of like Tinker Toys. And the sound from footsteps and hearing people coming and that type of thing is not nearly as good in this game, especially with the gaming headset. Modern Warfare 3, you can definitely tell when somebody's walking up behind you. And it's a real advantage to use perks that, that help with sound, whether you're using Dead Silence or you're using Sitrep Pro. Uh, those things can be really big. And in Black Ops, there's just, you know, it's not nearly as good uh, to be able to tell. So a lot of times you'll see me kind of hesitating because I hear things and I'm trying to figure out if people are coming up behind me or if it's just other sounds of the game. And in most cases, it's really not somebody walking up behind me and being able to anticipate that. So, you know, that's definitely unfortunate. Uh, and then the colors in this game are a little off, too. It just seems a little cartoonish. 
a uh, little comic booky compared to uh, Modern Warfare 3, where I think the the colors and the the backgrounds of the game are a lot better. But you know that being said, I think that Infinity Ward, you know, has done a lot of things right and made a really good game at its core. And if they could just fix those problems, it would be probably the best game out there. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. And so we're really positioned for Black Ops 2 to be the best Call of Duty ever, just because uh, you know we've had so much trial and error, so much community feedback, and Modern Warfare 3 has given us some really good ideas, you know, with support and specialist, and just tried some more things with the perk layouts and death streaks and kill streaks. Uh, that I think that you know between the community feedback and uh, just the amount of time we've had in all these different games. I think it's pretty clear what it's going to take to make a good game. And I think that it, that Treyarch has, a, you know, an open ear to that. And, I, and they're really, I think, approaching it the right way. And so I'm really confident that the next game is going to be very good. And, you know, I'm really excited for it myself. Just because I think that they're really going to take a look at things and, and take the good and put it in the new game and take out some of the bad. And collectively we'll come up with something that's really good that people enjoy playing. And so I'm excited for that. And uh, so it's no no surprise that people are, are already anticipating that game and uh, going back and playing this one. But a little bit about this gameplay. Uh, the reason I posted this is because it, it was such a close game. And if you know, if you watch my channel, you know I'm not really all about posting the you know 100 plus kill gameplays. Uh, it's more about the competitive games, the close games uh, that are hard fought. And this game here is about a 12 minute video uh, but when I played it, it felt like it was probably about a five-minute game. It just played out really quick and uh, was pretty intense, really close game all the way throughout. And those are the games that I enjoy playing the most um, because I think it just, uh, the competitiveness in me, it just makes it more enjoyable to have a close game like this. And in this game, I post a pretty good score. I think I lead the team and have a pretty good KD, you know, nothing that's outrageous. I wouldn't say I carried the team, but you know I definitely played my part. I capped some flags on my own and uh, contribute to the team here. So you'll see how this plays out towards the end. Uh, but it's definitely a really good game, and uh, my kill streaks in this game I think were definitely too high. I'm running counter UAV, Blackbird, and Chopper Gunner, and I don't think I ever even get to up to the Blackbird. So you know, although I do have a pretty good kill death, it just didn't work out to actually get me up to those kill streaks and. You know, part of that is, again, I just don't understand the spawns. I'm just out of practice. Uh, the guns have definitely different recoil in this game than they do in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, so that's a huge adjustment. And then, uh, you know, obviously when you're throwing yourself out there to try and cap objectives in a really close game, it's just hard to get big kill streaks unless that's what you're going for. Um, so, you know, I'm still practicing uh, the, the map positioning and the spawns and, and getting used to the game again. But it was a ton of fun to play. And this is a game I could definitely see myself playing more of. And there's the, the Dolphin Dive, which is, you know, a pretty cool thing. I, I really missed it at first, uh, but it seems a little more gimmicky than uh, effective, I guess. And it's something that I don't need to have in the next game. You know, I've done just fine without it here in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, and sometimes the Dolphin Dive can be a little disruptive to what you're trying to do. You know, uh, if you're just trying to, to drop shot or go prone, you end up dolphin diving. It can kind of throw you off and, and get you killed. So, um, you know, to each, each his own, I guess. Some people really like that feature. But uh, for me, it's not, not all that important. And so, you know, with this game, I've been running a lot of different class setups. In this game, I'm actually running Ghost and Ninja and the Silence Weapon. Uh, just trying to stay silent, just to try and uh, give myself a little advantage because I know that, you know, I don't have the map knowledge and the spawn knowledge that most of these players probably do anymore uh, because it's been so long. And so I wanted to kind of give myself a, a little bit of advantage, try and get on a level playing field with people. But the one thing I do like about Black Ops is just the way they have the perk selections laid out uh, because my favorite perks in this game are Scavenger and Sleight of Hand. And the thing I like about Black Ops is they put those in different tiers, so you can actually use them both. And so most games, that's what I'm going to be running, is uh, Scavenger, Sleight of Hand. And uh, the nice thing also is that the third perk, just like Modern Warfare 3, is uh, so flexible that there's not one perk you absolutely have to use. 
Otherwise, you're going to be disadvantaged. I mean, you can use Hacker. You can use um, Tactical Mask is a good one and different things like that. Ninja's, you know, a good one again. So uh, there's a lot of perks that really aren't overpowered that you can use and, uh, you know, feel good about whichever one you decide to go with. And th that's one thing I like, and I think that that's something the game strives for but just fails sometimes uh, because, you know, that's how it goes. So this game here, you know, now we're triple capped. Things aren't looking very good. Uh, we're losing the game, triple capped. And so now, uh, you know, I'm thinking to myself, all right, we got to get some flags, we got to do this, so I go back and, and take C by myself, get a couple of kills um, with no other teammates really around too much. And so now we've got two flags again, but uh, we're still behind. And so the kind of the thought process is if we can go up here and triple cap them, even for a short amount of time, we should win this game. And so that's kind of the goal here. Uh, I can see this guy up here, I don't know why I kept shooting at him, but uh, not, not enough of him was showing apparently to get some hits. Uh, so we go ahead and, and triple cap, and we actually just take the lead here. So 193 with the lead, you should be pretty good most of the time. Uh, but they go and cap B right away, and uh, then they're going to go and get C here at the end of the game. And I go back and try and get it to do what I can and get some final kills here. But uh, it's just a little too late. And the one thing about Black Ops is the domination actually can end in a tie, uh, which it does here. So the final score is 200 to 200. And uh, my score here was 37 and 10 with seven captures, led the team in kills and captures. And so it was a lot of fun. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3. And if you ever go back and play this uh, any, at any point. Uh, but as usual, guys, I appreciate you watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the game.